We are a woodcraft business. We create and make wood crafts, small end crafts, be it kitchen boards, um, house treen and other small items to larger bespoke items, kitchens and stairs and built-in furniture as well. The other side of the business is a teaching service and that teaches all people from tiny nursery children getting them used to being in the woods and playing with hand tools to adults who want to develop more skills and take on wood craftsmanship to a higher level. I love wood and I love the way it reveals itself to me over time and just by the fact when I'm cutting a piece of wood you see through the grain you see the layers of growth and so on. To me that's incredibly satisfying. Once my imagination was captured after seeing demonstrations of um, green woodwork and related crafts, I went on a couple of short courses, just for a week or so, and then just set up a small space in the back of the garden, a few hand tools, just practiced and made a few things, read books, I'm not so good at following books, but I looked at the pictures anyway, and made things from that. Um, after a few years of playing around, uh, I started up a business, got a little bit of funding to help the startup business, and as I worked hard on that business, it just grew and grew. Over the years, I've been able to employ more and more people because it's taking a, um, a pattern now where we actually have different services and, and we have a greater demand for what we do. Go out in the woods, go out and meet craftspeople, go out and meet woodland donors and see what opportunities may arise. There's going to be market shifts in the future. The economy is changing. Resources, as we know it, are more scarce. Wood is an incredibly valuable resource to humans. Now, if you put those few little things together, then there'll be greater demand for woodland-related products. So if you get into the woods, get into there early before everyone else is doing it, you'll actually be able to make a living out of it.